The Nerdgasm Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, both sides, turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the Nerdgasm. Oh, man. But next, I know a lot of cartoon stuff happened, but Pepe Le, Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. I must say, you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, cancel culture got after him. And I'm like, okay, how do y'all feel about cancel culture, for one? I like you start with this. Um, I'm not a fan. But in this ca- in in this case, they got this wrong. They got it right. Mm-hmm. Oh, for me, I don't believe in cancel culture. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. I don't like the way it's, it's been started. Because first of all, uh, in order for cancel culture to happen, that uh, that means you're indirectly expressing that there's perfect things, and that's not true. And nothing on this earth is perfect. So when people do make mistakes, sometimes right now, this is all, you know, the past four years fault. And uh, we now, when somebody likes something that we don't like or somebody agrees with something that they don't like, all of a sudden we're blinded by the rage and anger that we have. And then we just automatically say everything is canceled. It's like, no, it's not nothing that is canceled. A lot of people don't really realize that what, people thought was all right back then it really wasn't Mm -hmm. (laughs) so and it's like finally somebody saying something about it but when it comes to the actual term cancel culture or the act of it no i'm not with it i don't like it Mm. i don't support it there you go let's put it that way right i'm indifferent about cancel culture i feel like some people should be held responsible aka the smash community for what they've done those people are just abusing their power (laughs) And they should definitely be held responsible. <laughs> but, 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 but here's the thing, though: is it canceled? Right. I, I was going to go into that. I do not okay. believe that because people can change over time, and you should be able, like, people should be able to at least have the opportunity to change. Where cancel culture is like, this person will stay the same for the rest of their life. That's where I disagree with. I feel like a person should be held responsible for their actions in the past. Unless you're like digging up like ten years ago, like the whole uh, James Gunn thing, I thought I was like, okay, well, y- y'all were looking for something in order to be doing that. That that wasn't necessary. This is where I agree. Like this is I'm not agree, but this is where I feel like this falls in the line on. Nobody was talking about him at all. Nobody was talking about Pepe Le Pew at all. But someone mm-hmm. had to dig up the furnace because it's like you know what you know what. I want some attention. That's how I felt about it. This was like a selfish act. Now, was he offensive? Yes. He also was a product of his time. That was a very different time back then. The very rapey then, time. Yeah, the jokes yeah. back then will not fly today. It y'all y'all really like Aristocats. That movie will not fly today. That is one of the most racist movies I ever oh. seen in my life. Sway, I don't know what you just said because you just kept you kept freezing out. Oh, I kept freezing. Really? Yeah, I, I, heard you, I was like, "What?" I heard. I, was like, I, was cursing. Uh, <laughs> I heard everything he was saying. Okay. I, well, I, I'll try to repeat it. I'm not part of the Swag Police Force, so I can, I didn't I, I, I have a walk you on. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, uh, Pepe Pew is a um, product of his time, and those were very different times back then. Like I don't. Yeah, I heard it. Like, I don't agree with digging up something that deep in the past when a, when it was about that time. Like, Aristocats, are we going to start canceling that now? Because that was beyond racist. Beyond mm-hmm. racist. I don't feel like things should be dug up for the purpose of bringing it to light just to fix it. If if it's not being done now, then obviously we learned our lesson. When was the last time we seen Pepe Le Pew? Uh, what was the last time we seen Looney Tunes? Um, not that long ago, actually. Yeah, I the I mean the older uh, Looney Tunes. I know they did a reboot where Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny were living together, and I didn't see Pepe Le Pew at all. Yeah, no, nah, that was a different show. But no, they, if I'm not mistaken, no, there's a re, not a reboot, but like, um, 
I don't know what to call it, but there's a new Looney Tunes show on uh, HBO Max. HBO Max. Right? Yeah, not the one with Daffy and Bugs as roommates, but like I think they're just doing like the short cartoons again. Oh, uh, okay, okay, like the st- like the fifteen minute cuts or something like that. Yeah, oh, okay. I believe so. I didn't watch it yet though, but it's on HBO Max. Gotcha. Honestly, he's probably not even on there. I meant to bring this up last week because they took they um. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Okay, there was that burp that was holding on, but um, <laughs> they took him out of Space Jam 2. And I'm like, dude, it's... The film was, like... The film was virtually done. And why did we have to go back just to... Was he even a prominent role in the movie? He was probably just going to be comic relief and then bam, just thrown out. So, yeah, but it's... uh. Sensitive time, I guess. I don't know. It is. It's, it's, it not, is. it's, it's you know, people call sensitive time. It, it's it's not. It's just that right now you have to cause an uproar about something that needs no uproar about in the first place. The the and, and, and people call such an uproar and they don't even realize what they're arguing about. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the whole Lola Bunny thing. What are you really arguing because a rabbit doesn't have titties? How stupid does that sound? It doesn't matter who cares. And then, and then everybody wants to, then they want to throw politics into it. And it got nothing political to do with it. It got, it got nothing political. The only reason why the people throw politics in there is so they can blame the side that they don't like. Mm-hmm. And that's all. And, 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 and when you are focused on this so much, it's so because you have nothing else to argue about. Pepe Le Pew, I didn't care about the character. If it wasn't in the first one, I wouldn't have missed it. Mm-hmm. And then, and once again, that is a, when it comes to today's society, today's where as we evolve, that is some offensive shit. Such as if you had the original Elmer Fudd uh, back in there, that's offensive shit. Yeah. And they took him out in, in uh, I think, I, I want to say the late 60s, early 70s. Right. When, when they stopped playing that cartoon. And I'm just like, cause that's offensive shit. Okay, you can't. You, you people that's in power who don't give who don't give a uh, don't give a fuck about it, then they're gonna play. But when you start putting people in power, that's like, yo, this is offensive. We gotta take this stuff down. It ain't about being canceled. It ain't cancel Pepe Le Pew. If y'all wanna go back and watch the old Pepe Le Pew stuff, go ahead. But I'm like, what? Well, it's not entertaining anymore to see this male skunk literally have his way or try to rape these female skunks. <laughs> That's basically what he was doing. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> you know, it it, it 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 bothers me. You know, why I see people just uh, you know, you know, make these kind of excuses and say, so so wait a minute. So let me t- let me think. You really tell me right now, you want a you know a chauvinistic uh? Well, I can't say chauvinistic or not, but you want this uh inappropriate uh raping skunk in a space jam movie. Well, he's not even going to be the focus at all. He wasn't even on the starting five or the bench. Nope. So who cares? I don't care about Pepe Le Pew being in there at all. And it's it's a skunk. Like so. So basically, you want to you want to fight over a, a, a romancing skunk? That's not even your argument. Like I said, the same thing about a rabbit. Have, these are cartoon characters. Who cares? It ain't gonna be missed. You're not gonna be missed. You so you're gonna not watch Space Jam because Pepe Pew's in there. All right, cool, no problem. They don't need your money. I was gonna see whether he was in it or not. Honestly, yeah, I, I was. Gonna everybody's see gonna see it whether he's in it or not. It's the same thing with the whole Doctor Seuss thing. You people will stop buying the book. Uh, go ahead. People are actually making the argument for Doctor Seuss though, um, of why he shouldn't be canceled. I he's was, not canceled yeah, though. He, my th- with the Dr. Seuss thing, that was different because that was the company was like, hey, we realized this uh, was going on, so we're just going to cut it out. They were trying to beat the cancel culture at, at their own game. From what yeah. I and yeah. I was like, oh, I Dr. didn't even Seuss know that happened. He, he, he just said some of these books are offensive, so we're going to either rewrite the books or, or, or pull them. You can still go out and get Dr. Seuss book. You can still go on Amazon and get Dr. Seuss book. That shit ain't canceled. Right. It's not it, cancel. People don't know what the word cancel means. You cancel on everyone here. It, it's like at, right now they probably cancel R. Kelly. His music don't even play on the radio no more. Mm-hmm. 
that's kind of like on the verge of, of cancel culture. Like you got to be, you kind of cancel. Uh, and uh, but when it comes to all this stuff that they're, they're pulling out their ass for no reason at all, and then they, they stay on it like it's a main topic, literally no one cares. What should be the, the biggest problem by Space Jam is I seen a detailed shot of Bugs Bunny. He looks weird. I do not know if I like that animation for for the Looney Tunes this year because uh, Entertainment Weekly. Has the new still shots, which comes out next month. You know, I, I get my magazines, and then they show uh, they show bugs up there, and I'm like, whoa, that fur is way intense. And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I don't know. I see what Pronto was saying now, seeing it up close. I was like, I don't even know if I'm f- feeling the way he's looking right now. I got, I really got to see it in motion because that right there just looks extremely creepy. What, <laughs> what are we talking like, about? Uh, uh, the fur on Bugs Bunny. It, it kind of okay. has the uh, the Detective Pikachu style oh whereas like it looks more realistic yeah it's like it's, it's like yeah, it looks like it's like like a realistic rabbit with cartoon features and it just don't balance right to me yeah i gotta see a trailer to really like it, all right it, yeah. it, it, it's i gotta like see a trailer to see it in action mm-hmm. because right now i'm like this is it's actually creepy to me mm-hmm. uh. because it's like, it's like you got like this real rabbit fur in this real rabbit kind of body we got the he got these you know, Looney Tune uh, gloves on. You know what I'm saying? And it, it has the Bugs Bunny face, but the ears are real. I'm just like, it. Mm. The only reason um, I'm giving that a pass is because of Detective Pikachu, and that it worked for that. That's the only reason I'm giving that a pass. I don't really. Well, also, also, the Detective Pikachu went all in one way, so all in another way. Right, right. You know, so it's like you don't have. Um, that first Pikachu with a, with, a, with a Pikachu face from the Pokemon show. Mm-hmm. It's like if you, mm-hmm. you, you either got to go one way, you got to either make them all real digitized or just make them all cartoons like they did the Tom and Jerry movie. Right. Uh, it, 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 I, I kind of got to see something in action. I didn't say it sucked yet, but I'm just saying, but right now I, I got to see it in action to see how it. So that's what people should be talking about. Not, not, who gives a fuck about Pepe Le Pew? Yeah, I'm just like. Well, excuse my language, but I don't. No, I, I'm just like yeah, y'all, y'all, and I remember they also said something about canceling Speedy uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez? And, yeah, they um they were saying it's offensive, offensive to Mexican people, and I'm like the only people that's saying that are people that's not even Mexican. It's exactly like y'all y'all don't even know what it's like to live like that, and y'all saying that oh it's offensive to them. How do y'all know? It's offensive to you, and you're just trying to solve a problem that didn't even need to be fixed in the first place, just so people could call you the hero. That, that's, that's basically what it, 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 it come over and say, this is offensive, this is offensive, this is offensive. I'm like, hold on. The ones that there wasn't shouting the loudest is not even from the culture that's supposed to be offended. Right. It, it, it's dumb. It's dumb. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, any last words, Q? I'm not sure if you we, we kind of double teamed them. I mean, like I said, I was gonna see the movie whether he was in or in it or not. Um, he's rapey. He's a rapey skunk. Like I don't get like whatever, man. I'm I'm good. I got nothing. 